This is a quick tutorial on mounting your Tachyon OPS or OPS HD high def video camera to your bicycle. I'll be using a standard road bike uh, frame today, but the, the principles would apply to any kind of bike, track bikes, cross bikes, or mountain bikes. As the clip title indicates, my focus is on camera mounting for competitive cycling, or by extension, anyone involved in extreme sports or activities where total weight is important, the total weight of the camera and the mount. Recreational cyclists uh, will probably want to use one of the mounts that's provided by Tachyon. There are three. They're well thought out. I'll demonstrate those. Uh, for me, after several weeks of trial and error and riding around with uh, multiple Tachyon cameras affixed to my bike in various locations and in different ways, I've determined that the, the optimal way, at least for me, is to just use 3M dual lock tape. And I'll show, that's going to be sort of the focus of the video in, in about a minute. I'll, I'll go through the camera mounts first. 3M dual lock tape, I'll talk about that as well. Amazing stuff. And, it, and when you mount the tachyon, you've you got to use 3M dual lock tape. You cannot use Velcro. So when you buy a tachyon camera, an OPS or an HD, you get three different mounts. And you, have, you get a hat mount that mounts on the brim of a cap and rotates in all directions and orientations. You get uh, the, the helmet mount with a curved base, and you get a flat mount. The, this portion is uh, for separate purchase uh, through Tachyon. It's a handlebar mount. But the flat mount comes off of this swivel mount and can be used uh, alone. All three of the mounts have a really simple but, but clever and effective mounting system. It's a, a mating of three convex, three concave dots on each of the sides of the camera with three convex outward dots or circles in each of the mounts. And it's really secure. Snaps into place and uh, very effective. The helmet mount. So the helmet mount, just a strip of dual lock tape on the, the bottom of the, the mount, a small strip on the helmet, um, and snaps into place camera into the mount, and you're good to go. And it's really secure. You're not going to lose it. Okay? So if you're inclined to use a helmet mount, this is a good way to go. You do have to experiment a little bit with the angle to make sure that you're getting the right perspective. You're not shooting sky or ground. But it works, and it's lightweight. It's 15 grams. Uh, personally, I don't like helmet mounts. I, I, I find that you get a ton of ground footage and sky footage. You, you just wouldn't believe how much natural head movement there is. If you're a cyclo tourist, if you're not competing in cycling events, this might be a good way to go because you'll be able to see scenery and your friends' faces. Um, for uh, competitive cycling where you just want to record, you want a stable video, all from the same perspective. You don't want to miss any key moments and you want to record everything. I like frame mounting. Um, the, the resulting video is a lot easier to work with. It's a lot easier to edit. And, um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate how I mount on the bike in a minute. Um, the swivel mount, before we get to the bike, neat little piece of engineering. There's a, it's, it's all, it doesn't require any tools at all. It's all, they're all hand um, uh, operated. It's a swivel, so you can turn it in any direction, and the mount uh, can be positioned in any orientation, and it simply locks in place. Same mounting system, and you put a piece of 3M dual lock tape. It would go on the inside uh, of the of the mount. Same on the handlebar, and it just uh, secured in place. And then you can get the camera at any angle you want. So really neat, and I think a lot of people will will use this and like it. Um, for me, there's a problem with it. It's heavy. It's super heavy. It's 118 grams. And for most people, that's, that's not going to be critical. But if you're a bike racer, you know that you don't want um, 118 grams or a quarter pound when you've got a 50-gram camera. Um, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and it sort of removes the stealth factor. So for competitive cycling, 3M dual lock tape alone, I think, is the way to go. But I'm not belittling this uh, mount. It would be great for a lot of people. So let's see, where are we? Uh, 3M dual lock tape before we get to the bike. Amazing stuff. I had not ever seen this prior to getting my, my camera a couple weeks ago. And just to sort of demonstrate this, 
it's it's like Velcro, but without the soft side. Um, it snaps into place. And once it's snapped into place, get that close to the camera so you can hear it. Snaps into place. Once it snaps into place, it is so secure, you just wouldn't believe it. And it'll either break off completely or stay secure. It won't work its way free like Velcro will. And I found that with a 50 gram camera, one of the other big advantages to a tachyon unit that's 50 grams as opposed to any of the Contour or GoPro cameras, great cameras, they film in really crisp 1080p, but they weigh, each of those cameras from both companies weigh approximately, actually almost exactly a quarter pound more than this. And that necessitates heavier mounting systems and they're big and they're bulky and they're not aerodynamic. And so if you want stealth and uh, lightweight, this is the way to go. And because it's so lightweight, you can get away with just the 3M dual lock tape. Um, before we turn to the bike, just so you can sort of see the difference, this is Velcro, it's industrial strength Velcro. And just for, for kicks, I tried mounting the, uh, the camera with Velcro just to see if it would work, and, uh, and it doesn't. So don't, don't try it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this is really high quality Velcro, and it's pressed together well, and hopefully the capture, camera can capture their side to side movement. So Velcro is great for a lot of applications, but it's horrible for mounting the camera. The camera has to be um, a, a, you know, a sturdy mount, and 3M dual lock tape just fills that application perfectly. Great stuff. So let's get to the bike. We will segue. Uh, see you in a minute. So here we have a, a road bicycle, and we're going to mount the Tachyon OPS unit to the front and the rear. This unit is set up for rear facing. I have a strip of 3M dual lock tape running along the length of the top of the camera. The top of the camera is where the Tachyon name is printed with no color. Bottom of the camera, Tachyon OPS in white. I have a strip of dual lock tape, probably half this long, underneath the saddle, and they made together. Simple. This is a physique area on saddle, and it works perfectly uh, with this camera. The front, let's start with the front. Um, I have a square, maybe three quarters of an inch or an inch square of dual lock tape on the left uh, side of the head tube. And the camera simply mounts level, level with the ground, to the head tube. And you can see that is a secure connection. I use a tether. Tachyon provides a string tether, um, uh, which probably works for a lot of applications for cycling. I just take a bread tie, wrap it around the brake cable housing a couple times. Really simple, maybe not a very elegant solution, but it's an effective one. It just gives you insurance in case, uh, in case the camera were to, were to come off. Uh, a word on the stability. I've ridden probably over five, six hundred miles with the camera front facing, and I haven't had any issues with it coming off. I've got two videos on YouTube right now. Uh, one of a pace line with some music overlay, the other's a descent down a hill with the, um, the Tachyon audio. The first video Tachyon's put on their web page is the sample video for the OPS HD unit. So you can check it out on YouTube or, or on the Tachyon site, but either video will give you a good idea of what the video looks like from this camera mounted on, on the head tube. Both videos were shot with, in this exact position. Um, so why this position up front? Uh, it'd be nice to be able to put it along the, the axis of the top tube. For a lot of reasons, it would be more stealth, uh, you could have a longer strip of dual lock tape, it would be a, a more secure connection. But the problem is you run into uh, brake cable issues. There would be no way to avoid having the brake cable when you turn the bars um, come across the, the field of vision of the unit. It would be nice to be able to mount it underneath the stem, but you have all sorts of cable issues there. You could mount it. Um, Underneath a computer, this is an SRM unit, a power control unit. I mean, that would be a perfect perspective. But you've, it's, it's real conspicuous, and I just prefer to not, not see it in, in my bar area. I like an uncluttered bar area. Probably the best perspective, just in terms of video quality, would be to use the you know, Tachyon swivel mount, and it would be up this high, you'd have a perfect perspective. But again, you're adding, you know, twice the weight of the unit and 118 grams to the, uh, to the setup. So um, 
for competitive cyclists, I think this is probably what you want to do right here. Rear facing. Um, so rear facing, literally snap it into place and you're done. Give you an idea, look how sturdy that is. And I'm going to pick the camera up that I'm using to film this video with. Forgive the jerkiness, but I want you to be able to see this. So that's the rear facing camera. And look how sturdy that is. I still take the bread tie, wrap it around the saddle rail. But you can see how stealth that is. I've been on a couple group rides. Most people don't even notice the thing is there. The video, I haven't posted any rear facing video, but I've taken a lot of it and I've been playing with it and the perspective is perfect. So whatever you determine is the best place for front mounting, this is a great place for the rear mounting and you'll be real happy with it if you want to do video and splice front and rear video together. Okay, so that is mounting of the Tachyon OPS HD unit to a road bike using 3M dual lock tape only um, and foregoing Tachyon's mounts. I have been very pleased uh, in the short time that I've had the units, a couple weeks and a few hundred miles with the the position of the front and the video that it produces in this particular location and the rear. Um, I will try to get together soon uh, a video splicing front and rear footage so you can see what that looks like. Um, it is still early days, hasn't been race tested yet, that's going to be have to wait until February or March of, of next year, but so far so good. Um, I would use the tether just as a precaution and uh, Hope this has been helpful. Please give me your comments. If you have any other ideas um, regarding mounting, I'd be curious to hear what they are. Uh, take care, enjoy your tachyon, and be safe out there.